Okay, so I've been following School Big Q's album uh, a lot of the way, and it literally just dropped, I would say, a couple minutes ago, and you guys might be thinking I didn't listen to it at all, but no, I actually did go through every single song, and it's a different approach than School Big Q, I, th I would say, ever has taken. He took it to a more, like, it's a, like, it's like harder beat, but like, softer flow if you know what i'm saying like he didn't go like his um habits or contradictions or his um uh, any of his other projects but this is like a, a different kind of flow and you know i think it's to reinvent the sound that hip-hop is going to it's, it's starting to sound the same and i think school Bay q wants to put himself out there as he sounds like somebody else so i think that's what he did with this album to like recreate his sound um i did enjoy it um compared to oxymoron i would give oxymoron the edge but i still have more to listen to this and keep going through it because it's not a bad album or actually lp but um it's it's a different approach and i think it's something that we all who listen to school bay q have to you know you know adapt to or like i don't know if you guys are the real fans of him like i am um, it's gonna take a little bit to change. I mean, he his his sound saint, his like original sound sounds the same, but like he his beats are changed up. They have the like the hard mentality, but slowed down. So you know he can't go in like let's say like man of the year or something like that. It's a whole different flow. And my opinion, my favorite track, it would actually be the ones he released early. By any means, um, groovy Tony. Um, I think it's um, Tuki Knows too, and I think those were just to promote the album to see, um, you know, get to, get get a vibe for how the people are gonna feel for it. And I think it didn't go in the direction as those songs were put out to. It, now I'm not putting any dirt on this. I'm so, it's a good album or LP, my bad. But um, I don't know. I feel like the songs he put out wasn't the. Um, and what I, what it wasn't like the direction of the album. What I mean of that is not like the lyric wise, but like how he put out the songs, like how he rapped to them, you know. Um, but like lyrically wise, I think it stayed to the premise of the album, which I do enjoy, and I love listening to lyrics to break them down to hear what he's saying. So, um, other than that, I recommend you guys go check it out. It's on Apple for 12.99 i think it's being dropped on soundcloud on top dog entertainment so if you guys want to go check that out please tell me how you think about it below and this is my official lp review of blank face thank you guys for watching i'm out peace